So, today is Leeds United at home. Today feels like it could be a good day. I feel it's one of those where Blues play well against good teams and Leeds are a good team. So, all well, you Leeds fans out there, if you're watching the vlog, you are a good team. And it's a team that could quite easily end up getting promoted. So, in one way, it's an awkward game against a team that's fighting for the playoffs, fighting not to be in the playoffs and being automatic. But it's also a game where we normally play well against teams like Leeds. It's an awkward one. People may disagree with me here, but I'll put down 3-1 blows. I changed my mind as of this morning because I had a 2-1 blows, but I think it's going to be 3-1 blows now. I think we're going to score some goals and we're going to go for it. I think we're going to have an, a good day and enjoy everything about it. I've had other people come in with some score lines. I've had 1-1 from my dad. Uh, my friends from college. Happy up, Ryan. 3-0 to the Leeds, he's got there. I don't think we're quite going to be that bad. Um, one of my friends, Dean, 3-1. 2-1 uh, from Mark. And Leslie's got it as 2-1 also for Blues. So come on, Blues. Do us proud. Bring home the three points. Also, if you guys were wondering, at the start of the video, we now have that lovely Lego model of St. Andrews um, at the start of the vlog. Um, I've got all the championship grounds from a friend of mine, CCFC Builds, um, the 92, of online on Twitter. And he's he sent me, Jules has sent me all of these images to use at the start of my videos and has given me permission. So I'd like to thank you so much, Jules. It's, very highly recommend you to check out the builds because there's some incredible builds there and i'm so jealous of the edge baston one but hope you enjoy the new transition into the ground from that <laughs> Number 20, Gary Gardner. 
And number 28, Michael Morrison. Your very good son is stuck to it. say that not many people had over faith that we were going to win that game and well we proved them all wrong uh, we've done the double over leads this season we are the first team to do that this season and currently the only obviously team to do the double over leads this season that second half we played quite a lot better than the first. First half wasn't great. They had a lot of attacking. Um, we didn't play it magnificently in the first half. It wasn't too too brilliant. But coming in a one nil was probably a huge boost to our players. Um, coming in at half time one nil up was definitely a huge boost to our players. They hit they hit the post. That one that went across. Camp was way over the one side of the goal. Now that shot she hit the post, pinged back basically across the goal strike to Camp, which was l very lucky for us. We went up the other end. Juki had a shot which was saved. Then a few minutes later, Nagoma went running down the wing, pings the ball across the box. Juki dodges it and kind of lets it go through his legs straight to Che just behind him. Che controls it and as soon as Che controlled it, you knew where it was finishing. You knew where that ball was going and you knew it was hitting the back of that net. 1-0 was on its way and it happened. Lovely finish by Che again. That's 22nd of the season now. Um, but it's great to see him scoring again. Hopefully he can score a couple more before the end of the season. 
add a couple more million onto the, uh, the transfer fair at the end of the season. Yeah, so that was great. Attacking six points off Leeds. Great. Three more points gained. Great. The other results weren't brilliant for us. I mean, there was a couple of other teams at the bottom who won. Um, Rotherham had won. But it shows how important that three points was. Because if we didn't get that three points, there'd be other teams really close to us now. And some teams would have gone above us. But Reading didn't win. They lost. So that was three points we've gained on them. And on other teams. So yeah. The future is looking up. The future is looking bright. If we can play like that against other teams, three points again. And again, I think, I said it pretty much, if we could get three points off any of the games, and then if we could beat Rotherham, I think we'd stay up. Now, I stick with that. Of if we can beat Rotherham, I'd say we would stay up. Because with six games remaining, we're still... Two wins, basically, ahead of Rotherham. And if we can beat Rotherham, that would be the equivalent of three wins, and they'd need to win half of their games to come above us. Um, I can't see them winning half of their games myself. But if they can, be, if they beat us, we're back in it again. We're right behind them. They're right behind us. Um, and, yeah, that would be devastating. But I think if we can win one more game this season... And it's Rotherham. It, we're safe. If we can win another game and it's not Rotherham, it's yeah, probably also into a safe position. But I do have my Kick It Out t-shirt on because it was the Kick It Out 25th anniversary um, for yesterday's game. And also, there may be a video coming out soon. Not on my channel. But I'd like to thank Tappet for that opportunity that I had today. Um, keep right on to all. On to the Sheffield United game next. Three, three more points.